Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Product Management, and I'm here to show you how to work with dimensions in the Analyst Workspace. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do with dimensions, and I think some of them can be kind of subtle, so I wanted to take a second and, and actually kind of preview a, a lot of them with you. So, um, as, you, as you probably know, you can take a drop a dimension on a data table and, and get just a list of, of, of the items in that dimension with, you know, against the metric that you have selected. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually go ahead and filter these down. And so in this case, I'm looking at search terms. If I wanted to look at just search terms that contain the word hiking, I could click on this little filter icon that appears when I hover over the, the dimension title uh, in the table. And then I can apply that filter and the filter gets applied and I can see all of the, all of the items that match that filter. Um, additionally, if I go ahead and add in another table in here, here, um, you'll see that I can, not only can I can I do searches, but I could actually add specific items. And so in this case, if you when you hover over a dimension, you get this little arrow, and if you click on it, it will actually show you all of the items in that. And so again, I can filter on hiking, um, and in this case, I'm interested in hiking poles and hiking, but not, not in hiking pants. And so I can, I can go ahead and drop as many of these on the, uh, on the table as I want and get a very a very specific report with just specific items selected as opposed to this one which anytime it includes the search term hiking would be included. Um, kind of different ways that you can do it. I also find it really helpful if I need to know what's in a dimension I can click on it and I can see for example here I have product and product name if I'm not quite sure what's in those I could see oh this is the product ID whereas I can go back to the other and quickly see hey this is the product name um, so that might that one might be more interesting. Um, we're actually going to use this dimension here for our, one of our for our next use case, and I'm going to go ahead and add another data table. One of the requests that we've had is is to be able to do trended reports. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly and easily. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the day dimension um, down one one axis of this, and then I'm going to change my metric to uh, unique visitors. So we'll replace that, and then if I want to actually just trend the top five products. What I can do is I can go ahead and drop products right on the top of the metric, and it will give me the top five products. So now you can see that I've got um, the different the different products that that are represented there, and and I'm seeing the unique visitors by day for each one of those. So I can go ahead and quickly just drop on a line chart, and we'll see um, how simple this is. All right, so I've got that all dialed in. And now you can start to see that these are trended over time pretty quickly, pretty easily. Then if I needed to go and add in a, a, an, additional, um, an additional product or I was interested in selecting specific ones, I could obviously come back in here into the product, uh, product name report, select the one that I'm interested, maybe the slop side here, the slope side, and um, go ahead and add that, to the, add that to the visualization. So pretty interesting stuff. We can actually take this a step further um, and do something that we've never really been able to do in, in Adobe Analytics. And if I add another data table here, I'm going to show you how to um, kind of do a, a, an intersection of two different dimensions. So I'm going to take product name, and I'm going to add this to, the, to my table, and I'm going to swap out the metric for unique visitors. Um, oops, let's get that right there. And then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and add in the top search terms um, for those products. And so, so what I'm going to see is I'm going to see um, for, you know, for, for various search terms, what were the products that, that people actually ended up buying. And so this, this can help me identify different propensities between various products. For example, here it looks like there might be a little bit higher propensity between, between the product, this product, Erie and Jaya, and, and Chain Tool. Um, than some others. And so it's, it can be kind of a helpful way of, of identifying uh, relationships between uh, different dimensions that you may have in, in a way that you haven't been able to do in the past. Hopefully you find this helpful and hopefully um, it, you find that it, it's, it's a little bit easier to work with, with dimensions in, in the freeform analysis tool. We hope you've enjoyed this video.